Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of From Solo to Duel. Today we are going to be taking a look at um, one deck that one deck that we've set up for the for the Synchro F Festival. Actually, the timing was quite right. Although, it was t the timing was right for the festival, but unfortunately, the festival was not right in the sense that um, everyone is saying that the Synchro Festival is kind of a failure. They um, they did not. They allowed too many archetypes that did not care about synchro summoning and actually kind of hard countered synchro summoning in um they kind of um the developers kind of goofed up my personal opinion has always been that um konami does not have the same does not have a good quality line of um game devs with regards to the card game and um the one proof of it was that they allowed the game to go out of control now whether that is what they, what what that is what they desired that um they like people just playing with themselves by um by chaining so many cards while the other person sits back when and, and just looks at their phone what I, and also note that all the cards that um they put in to kind of control this um are kind of intentionally ultra rare so you have an idea that um konami is kind of um that um they're designing not not what's good for the game but they're designing just out of greed that, that's my opinion and that's actually com coming from someone who has played uh Yu-Gi-Oh from kind of from the beginning that's someone who's played magic from the beginning someone who's played hearthstone from the beginning i've also played vs a little bit and i'm trying to think there might be one other and i do dabble in a lot of other different games as well but it's really hard to it's really hard to say that konami cares when they clearly what when all they care about is a small and franchise subset of the player base that said en enough about that rant I, I i probably should not have um gone that far that said um we're gonna take a look at um this one this is the specter say i'm um, slaying f flames event this is the shiranui um uh, shiranui synchro summon deck it's kind of it's it's kind of um complete in the sense that you that um it's so focused solely on on synchro summons and they actually do give you quite a lot of um good good cards to start out with um they give you probably some of the best better tuners with them they definitely give you um sure new spectral sword is one of the best tuners here it gives you a second shot at synchro it's basically a deck that um, thrives on playing the long game. Shinobi Necro, um, kind of decent as well, and they give us a few good, uh, some very key um, starters as well. Um, not the not the Smith so much, but Spirit Shin Shiranui Spirit Master. You can normal summon this and special summon one from your hand. And Shiranui Solitaire, which you can. Which you can um, tribute a zombie monster to special summon a tuner. So those are the key parts. They also give us some um, three copies of um, Shiranui style swallow slash. Um, unfortunately, Shiranui style synthesis not so great, but they do give us Shiranui style samsara, which is probably a lot better for this one. Other than that, okay, there's the swallow flip. I've been, I've been kind of on and off on this one. They also give us some pretty good um, synchros, but not not the but not the complete chain. So, but um, we do have a better starting point here compared to say the glowing bug. That said, um, the direction I took is more along the lines of um, go more along the lines of um, just building up on the Shiro Nui plan. It really depends. Um, it it naturally pairs with the Mayakashi plan. If you happen to get a good set of Mayakashi, you can actually um, sub in quite a lot of these cards. Um, that said, the singleton copy of um, Daki, probably not a very good idea because this actually limits you with to Mayakashi. I might actually just cut this all together in favor and just and I and just keep the and just keep the addition keep the extra neck necro instead. The Mayakashi plan is very good if you have a complete chain. It's essentially i think it's a 5 to a 7 to a 9 to an 11 and onwards so let's take a look at the related cards list actually no you sh okay let's 
yeah, it starts with a tree, which is um actually pretty easy to start with. So it's a tree to a five to a seven to a nine. Ideally, you manage to get to eleven. If you you can ignore the last bit of the eleven, but if, if the eleven even if the eleven goes, it allows you to chain downwards again. So you you so this is only good if you can get from nine to eleven. If you don't have the eleven, maybe you can. It's kind it's kind of a bust. I guess um, if the 9 dies, you can get the 7 back. But otherwise, um, and, and it, it has its own list of set, set of support cards, so that is something to consider. But that said, we are mostly focused on the Shirinui here, so let's go back to that. So the main key additions are an, another set of tuner. This one is the 3 star tuner. You can, And the key is not just that um, you are... Synchro summoning and getting cards banished, but it's also being able to get the banished cards out again. So, um, Shirinui Spectral Sword, you can tribute it to get two of banished Shirinui monsters again, presumably to Synchro again. Um, we have a single Miz Mizuki to get, um, to, to banish and special summon a monster, and probably preferably one of our Synchros. Key card, thankfully, is a rare Shirinui Squire. Um, when you special summon this, you can act spe you can um plebdoms. You can get one of your tuners, either the three star or the two star one, and that it's kind of just as functional as Spirit Master. Also, I would note that um the the four star ones have an effect when they get banished. Spirit Master is essentially a removal effect. Solitaire is um helps get the, um is very similar to spec spectral sword um sh sh shade. And Shirinui Squire, it's a loot effect, draw and discard. We added a few copies of Ghost Meets Girl. So this is also kind of a way to get a special summon in a pinch, although not the most useful one. I'm testing a few cop I'm testing a few copies of, of King's Consonants for the Synchro event. Though yeah, in, in the end the Synchro event is kind of a it's kind of a big garbage fire to the point that it, I I might actually just play this in normal instead. I I might I probably get better results there. Also note that um in synchro you can't run the pot of extravagance, so you probably might want to sub this with something else. My pick would probably be drowning mirror force, but even then that gets removed quite easily. Um, so we keep the samsara. Definitely want to keep some solemns. Um, definitely want the removal package. Ash blossom conveniently a zombie tuner. Unfortunately, Effect Veiler is not, so that's kind of why I left left it out. But that said, um, definitely add a few extra, um, add add a few extras. The two the two here that are five stars are pretty much are are pretty much emergency cases. Though technically, we don't really have a two into a tree. Yeah, we we actually. All our trees are tuners, so these these two are actually kind of dead cards. I kind of filled them out for the time being. There are sh there are Shiranui that um are level three, so that is something to consider. Well, there's one that's level two. Actually, might actually might consider this if this card is, and if you but the if you control part is kind of weird. That's yeah. Everything else is level four. You're probably on the lookout for. For some level three zom zombies, I actually had some copies of Sangan originally, but yeah, looks like um this five plan is kind of a bit redundant. I'll just leave it here for the time being. Otherwise, um we have the three copies of Sam Saga. We also have three um three copies of Square Saga, which actually has a very good, nice banish effect. You know, we kept some Sh Shogun Saga. You really need to have um Shirinui Sun Saga on level ten. You kind of want to really go up, go up that chain. But yeah, pretty much if um, we're not running this, I might as well just uh, add the extra copy of this one. And let's see. I think we have enough. Yeah, we, we just run a few extra sevens for for comfort. I'll probably run this once in regular and in, in regular duel, see how it, so, see how it does. And then see if it pays, and and maybe if I'm feeling better about things, I might actually try it in synchro. But yeah, otherwise I am not I'm not feeling it. Also because I just 
I just can't I just had a very long day today. I was out in I was out in the sun for the most part. The, the golf course was fine, it was very wide, but unfortunately the bunkers are so inconsistent. Anyway, we open up with a solitaire into a but into not much else. I might actually just set up I might actually set these cards up. I I'm concerned. Yeah, we'll set this up too. Then we'll then we'll just play solitaire. We'll hold up the ash blossom for the time being. I could just um I could just tribute this now. Actually, that's a good plan. We can tribute this now. We might have walked into a maxi, but looks like our opponent didn't have one. And we get I'm sure a new spectral sword. Which if we're able, which if our opponent does something, we can take out the sheer. We can we can take out two of their cards with style swallows. I might even just take out our own MST if it's really that bad. And with these and with these cards in the yard, I can just um banish and do a special summon. You can add one forbidden quick play spell from your deck to your hand during your. Eh, no, we'll take the hit. Shooter and quick play spells are kind of the worst thing I can expect. I probably could have saved it for a better effect. The opponent has a monster reborn. Okay, sure. But um, but that's only for num normal summons, so we can actually let that go. Let's see if they do a special summon or if they if they set some trap cards. You can tribute this card to special okay. During your opponent's main phase. So we have to do this now. And take out the other two. Hopefully I didn't trigger any effects. Okay, when trap card is activated so far, none, none are activated. I could just banish this one, just... Yeah, I'm gonna banish this one. Though, it only gets back banished monster, so not nothing really much. We drew a Spirit Master. We can technically... Hold on. We'll do this first. Special summon. And with the extra banish, we can actually resummon this. So we now can summon an 8. I can also normal summon this to play this one, but I might want to save it actually. So. And also because both of them are in the yard, we will get a future resummon. I might actually just leave it at a, as a Shirinui for. Do I want to just banish? Probably not because I literally have only those two cards, so that's a no. I can just normal summon this just for the, the attack, but I would rather save it. We're kinda opening ourselves up to something, but. We'll see. If our opponent has something, we're done for. Because it's either because I'm also tempted to actually just play this out, but this only special summon Shiranui, so this would have been in our hand anyway. Yeah, I guess we could have played this to get enough damage. Opponent goes into end phase. Got a monster reborn, nice. And And note the restriction is you can only summon one a turn. It's not that you cannot have more. You cannot have. It's not that you're limited to one. It's you can just summon one a turn. So I could monster reborn, but we'll just go into battle. Let's see if they have a hand effect. No. So wait. No. Okay. Good. We 
we we did we did reasonably well there. We just had to be we had to be very aggressive in not letting our opponent do what they wanted to do. Also, it's kind of the way I like things. It's win quickly or lose quickly. It's just unfortunate that um our definition of lose quickly is our opponent still play um them still plays for like ten minutes and then just watching YouTube. We'll do another duel. We'll see how. We'll we'll see how it goes, and then maybe I'll go into synchro. I probably should make some of. I probably should make some of the edits also. Yeah, we'll definitely go first. We, there are some dud hands that um we kind of auto lose if we don't. If, uh, also, that's kind of the risk with our deck build. This one might be an issue because every. So the safest way is to actually just go Squire first. And... Yeah, special summon this one. And unfortunately, we don't have any of our protective cards. This is kind of where the deck falls apart. Though to be fair, it's kind of where any deck falls apart. Now, in other games, they give you a mulligan system, but... Given how combo centric this game is, I can understand why they don't let you do it. However, it does lead to a lot of feel bad games. Okay, that's it. Our opponent is going for reinforcement of warrior, so that's an Armageddon Knight. So they probably have a bunch of their own special summons. Now, actually, one trick we can do here is we can share Nui Spirit Master, put the Spectral Sword Master in play. Okay, this looks like an Orcus deck. I am so unfamiliar with this actually. I have, but this is a it is a kind of Mech Knight. It's a Mech Knight Plus deck, I would say. Yeah, there's an argument for go doing the Shiranui plan first. Like, there is no need for us to have this many cards in hand. But yeah, I, otherwise I would have I could have gone with Spirit Master so that this would already be in the yard so that if I needed to take something out, I can just exile it immediately. The alt plan for this would be play Spirit Master, try to play out Spectral Sword. Yeah, this is a little bit of a weird arrangement. Also note opponent does have synchros, but I don't I don't see any tuners quite yet. Or does have cards that mention synchro. Or am I just dreaming? No, it's just it's mentioned special summon. Yeah, I'm just dreaming, sorry. Very tired, guys, very tired. So we're gonna take quite a bit of damage. My the, my bigger concern is Okay Link. Yeah, we unfortunately allowed our opponent to go all the way. This link card cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay, so this is kind of what we wanted this for. Then so you can set one Orca spe spell trap, so we need to pay attention to what that is. Oh, field spell. And so you can activate as quick effects. If you control no other monsters, you can special summon one world legacy token. Okay, so instead of can't be destroyed, we are now gonna get run over by an exceeds monster. If this so has protection, you can activate one of these if if this card is special summoned. Isn't an exceeds summon a special summon or am I mistaking something? Anyway. Now in theory we can go for the eight. Our opponent can just bin it instead. It's sent to the graveyard, so I might actually just do Shirinui Spirit Master first. Does this have protection? It has some protection, so... Let's see, what's this? Neither player can special summon monsters. Ugh. You monster.
He can send one to protect that, but... Oh, it protects all of... Oh, it prevents the whole thing. Yep, we are kinda locked. We can't special summon anything. Yeah, we can concede this one right away. Sometimes it's unfortunate, but yeah, I already knew that's what um, we were pretty much um, destined to lose that one because we literally had nothing. <laughs> now, there was one Facebook question asking, why do people like to play for more than 10 minutes and um, just playing by themselves even when the, they know they've already won? If you if you pay attention to the end to that end chart there, like if you notice um, all, um, the, the rewards you get for winning, it's not just a simple oh you win again you get a you get a flat reward no they list out all the stuff that you do and you reward you for that that i think is probably one of the biggest mistakes because it incentivizes people to just um um keep um keep playing way too long so but so far i'm not seeing any alternate effects so we're going to just tribute this for we do have a spectral sword master but can always use a double and okay this feels really bad setting up a solemn scolding together but we're gonna wait it out a bit maybe this might be a mistake maybe I should have just monster reborn right away and did and and did a synchro summon right away it's probably safer but I'm already anticipating that I do want to to tribute also if our opponent well one if our opponent has harpy's feather duster I'm losing both anyway the more likely, we'll see. They might have a Twin Twisters also. That's actually not another thing to consider. What does our opponent play? If you control a monster that's not burning, destroy this card. Uh, mm. So this is a bit too early. So we're going to let this be. If you control... You can only use one of these effects. You can special summon. Okay. If this card is sent to your graveyard, you can target one, except and special summon it. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Okay, so we're going, so that's going to get banished, which is going to be super annoying. Also, I triggered it already, so the good news is I, yep, we have to let that go. In theory, I could have just some solemn scolding that, that effect. No, select a card to banish. We'll probably banish the squire. So we lose that one. We're gonna activate, see if we can draw a card. I'll click the yes, but that's negated. That's never happening. Oh yeah, so see if one, one I special summon that, but nothing happens. That just that just goes bzzz. Unless I'm mistaken. No, that's pretty much how called the grave works, yeah? It goes bzzz. Unfortunately, none of these are that great. We could just special summon their card. Okay, that might be a reason to keep a 5. So, we'll actually discard this one. Which is super weird. Cause, but then again... Okay, take the hit. Dump that into the yard. It, okay. So, no effects. While you have no cards except it, you can banish this card for Destiny here. Okay, so we have an MST. So we're actually going to summon their level 4. Get ourselves a six. Unfortunately, it looks like we banished all three of our all three of our sh Shiranui's. So this might be a bit awkward. But the important thing about this deck is that you only need the zombie, ch you only need the zombie tuner. So a little bit of awkwardness there. That's why I usually have ex extras in that slot. And I actually don't mind this one going into the yard. We're also we're gonna double check. Yes, we still have our eights. 
Oh, but it's what non-tuner zombie. But it has to be zombie type. So that's an awkward part. So that said, we are actually kind of short. Also, also, what card did they get? You can target one, change it to defense position, and if you do that monster, okay. Oh, it's dark monster. Okay. Unfortunately, it looks like a Phantom Knight setup. We're. Uh, wait, what does this do? Monsters this card's points to cannot be destroyed. If this card, you can send one other card you control to the graveyard instead. Um, probably gonna send in. Also, you can send one level tree. Do they have any more level trees? They have a nut. They have multiple level trees, so they can actually just kill this one. So really awkward that we had to use a monster reborn to special summon this. Also, but we'll check if they have any. Yeah, so we're gonna take quite a bit of a hit here, but we could still. Oh no, they just did for that. Sets this card. If you have no traps, you can activate this as a set. This card is not tr special. This summon this card's a normal. I'm cur I'm curious. I'm not familiar with the interaction here. If I destroy this, is it still special summoned? No, it's not special summoned anymore. Okay, so at, we we learn a little bit, but we know we're going to. Yeah, Phantom Knight's Fog Blade. I'm. I really should start getting used to these Phantom Knight cards. I see it. Activate this by targeting one effect monster. Negate its effects. So if I remember correctly, this is negated. I forgot I forgot how call to the grave works. That's until the end of the next turn, so it's it's technically live already. We let's do a double check. Do we have a nine? No, we can just do an eight instead. Can't play this anyway, because this thing is still alive. I'm actually gonna tribute this first. Well we can't actually do an eight either because the Yeah, we don't have any more sixes. That's the problem. So I'm have to. I'm gonna kind of have to swing with this. See if our opponent has an effect for this. Do they have another effect? Okay, it just sends it to the yard instead. Okay. Unfortunately, we had a little, yeah, a bit of an unfortunate setback there, but we'll take it. Looks like a looks like there's a good chance our opponent might actually just um eat one of their level trees, kill the Shinobi Necro. Actually, it's not No, it's not eat, but um you get the idea. It's just sending it back to the deck. Also note that um, we could have gotten the. We don't have a level nine anymore, but we could have gotten the, the the level three one just to get these two back. Unfortunately, it will not get these back because these are. Because these are all face down, it's kind of one of the weaknesses of Pot of Extravagance. It's kind of. Until I open other pots, um, something for for me to keep in mind. And yeah, looks like we're gonna see another link. Phantom Knights, Rusty Bardish, usually, uh, you can send. So let's see, do they have. 
Nope, this one just negates attacks. Again, very annoying. But, um, double check again. And when it's special summon, it'll destroy one of these cards in the field. And also note that they're summoning these in defense position, which is actually quite brilliant. So we'll... Because it will dodge a lightning storm. You can detach, then target one banish level 4 or lower monster. And, well, they can summon ours, but they're most likely going to summon theirs. And yeah, we're going to see another exceed summon again. Yep, this is the du this is usually the dull part of this. I could easily just concede this one right right here, but mm, I want to see if I can still fire off the lightning storm at least. Also, they ate up an Ash Blossom as well. Yeah, the, the, they're technically just chaining up, which is kind of the... Ooh, they got an F-Zero. This is kind of nasty. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Well, never mind. Going, going up, upgra upgrading again. This card is always treated. You can o cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. So yeah, if you're de reliant on destroy effects, this is kind of over already. Hmm, I can pretty much just concede at this point. But um, do, let's see. Do they have a negate effect? Not really. That's weird. Technically, they could have just killed this one. Oh no, that they, they just misclicked. It's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cast this. See if I can cast a creature to s smash into one of their monsters as a way to concede. Spirit Master. Okay. And for this does get from the graveyard, so that ki kind of counts. The only. This is a. Probably not the Oh, it actually hit. Okay, so we're still going for the concession part. Yeah, opponent usually has an effect and negate the activation. Then if then they just gain control of it. Sure, that that pretty much en that pretty much ends it for us. Now I'm gonna show you the most annoying part here. If our opponent has a lot of other things to do, they will do it. And that's because the game reward the, the game as designed rewards them to do rewards them into doing it. It's what I would call really bad design. Actually, this is kind of my way of announcing that once I'm done with um with with the with the last few structured decks, this is pretty much gonna be it for content here. I have I kinda have no dis oh thank thank goodness our opponent has more sense to just end it right then and there. But um, you will see opponents that will just keep churning it out. It's really not their fault. It's really how the game is designed. Also note that it's also designed to make you not surrender and just waste your time. Because you're just after these. Though, admittedly, if you don't do that much, this is so not worth it. It's actually kind of worth it to resign at that point. So we did get a few paltry wins. Not so much. We'll do Synchro. I'm actually still gonna keep the fives just in case. We we did learn a while ago that some sometimes your opponent would have a you might have to monster reborn or have some effect that them um, takes advantage of that. We'll probably do a few synchro events, but this is not exactly the um, best moment for it. We're also going second, so if our opponent is playing one of those air quotes um synchro decks, true Draco, which are not really synchro decks, then. We're in for a world of hurt. That said, we do have an er early start with Shiranui Squire. We're on the look. We're just basically on the lookout to see if our opponent has um, sets up a lot of traps, which is kind of what happens. Nope. Speed. Okay, that's not. Uh, it's not the D card. 
And unfortunately, these are just spell destruction. This is these are not negate effects. I would I would kill to have more more universal negate effects in in the game that are not ultra rare. Like um the the game gave us a bit of a solid with um giving us a copy of Lightning Storm, a copy of Ash Blossom, in just this, with the special packages. Negate their effects. Okay, so he rolled a four. Usually that's just to summon a four, they, though they could easily summon a ten at this point. So this is the, where it's awkward. If we had a um, tuner in hand, I probably would go for this guy. Otherwise, I might just have to do this one and hope to dig into a tuner. So... Um, effects negated, so... Yeah, but you could technically still activate it. It just goes... Pss. So we're gonna see a bunch of special summons. I need to start. I need to start noticing what, um, how are they protected? Because we only have a few. We only have very few ways of actually taking cards out. The usual one is by combat. An alternate plan, depending on their tough, on their toughness, is to just set them to defense position. That usually kind of helps. But it requires us to shuffle. Also, yeah, did it? Our opponent, yeah, they forgot that this, the effect is negated. Oh dear. Are we actually? No, I really don't think we're gonna see a concession. I think we, I think the opponent will actually try to synchro something. Yeah, there you go. One nice synchro there. High speed right puzzle. So there should be at the start of the damage step, okay. Once per turn during the end phase, if this card's into the graveyard, because this... Okay, so another... Another take. Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. That might be a little bit hard to kill, so we're definitely not summoning a 7. Oh. The targets, okay, so technically it's a target. So uh, since we're not targeting at all, we should be, we air quotes should be fine. I'm not, I'm not too familiar, but it's definitely looking for um, five or lower if I'm not mistaken. So five or higher activates. Yeah, so it's all five or higher. So... We can't activate an effect. So we actually have to summon... We actually have... I think we, we have a backup 7. That's 2-6. Yeah, we could actually just go for the backup 7 here. Because I... Yeah, unfortunately, we can't do the 2-1 because we're going to end up activating an effect. We're trying to avoid that. So, we're hoping our opponent doesn't have any quick... Well, technically, it's our turn. If they had the quick spell, they would have set it already. Also, I need to double check. Does this require... Oh, it's just... Okay, it's not on attack. It's just neg effects. Okay, there we go. We got it. Now... So we are going to set a few of these. Yeah, so it's usually nice to have a little bit of mix. I Technically, I should not be running all sheer... Well... I could mix up my synchros, but I would just have to replace the Pot of Extravagance. Though here in Synchro event, I'm not... 
I need to show I, I am not running pot I think I am running a drowning mirror force here okay they get to resummon probably the oh okay let's Okay, what's what speed right did they get? Cannot be used a synchro but except for a synchro summon by its own effect. You can target one monster. Oh, okay. So can't really do anything about that, but it does drop this into my yard. So we are we might end up taking a big hit here. Oh, okay, so um, it didn't matter which monster I got, but I had to get this one. So, okay, so what are our outs here? Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, 3,000. When another monster's effect is... Oh, okay, so yeah, this is a problem. We need to have um, removal. We now need to have a removal effect. Ideally, one of our... Yeah, again, we we unfortunate with um, the cards we are dealt. We usually see a lot of spell and trap effects. So m maybe if you're in, if you're worried about that, maybe don't run MSTs. Maybe you can run something a bit more universal. Okay, so the annoying part is you can negate that effect. You can negate that activation is probably the worst thing to see. Though it is a once per turn effect, so... We would need some help. Though it's also possible that we're kind of dead already. Yeah, just unfortunate we drew both of... I believe I only ran two, two copies of this. And the harp... So we so we drew all our sideboard cards. And our If you can activate destroy all other cards on the field. So we'll let them destroy it. Also, is this a quick effect? So he did not activate those effects. So we need to hit one of our removal spells. Unfortunately, that's... We need to hit our... Well, we have several removal spells, but we need to hit them ASAP. So... Yeah, I don't think this works. Let's see if we... Like, I... Okay, so... Yeah, this can special summon from Graveyard. So, we'll see... I think this is a once per turn. Yeah, and this one's unfortunately a normal summon, so I goofed up on that one. Yeah, I made a mistake. I was supposed to grab a tuner. Let's see. Yeah, our opponent has these two effects to activate. We're gonna just surrender this one. Ugh. But very, very unfortunate here. Let's see if we can get a bet. Let's see if we can get a better match. Let's see if we can draw better hands. That's usually the one the one issue we, I ha I have here. With n with no mulligan system, it's you're really going you're really gonna have many days where you're just gonna have a bad day and there's nothing you can do about it. It's kind of my argument for why magic is a lot better, but um, well, let's leave it at that.
So opponent is un yeah, unfortunately because we're starting second and we don't have an actual destruction spell in hand. Yeah, our opponent's just gonna It's just gonna vomit all of these cards. We really need to hit the destruction effect. It actually makes you wonder why are why are they restricted? They they are kinda necessary. My my argument would well to be fair, Dark I don't think Dark Hole's restricted though, but yeah. We can without the without the destruction effect in hand. And there's an arrive in light also, though we can snipe that. We'll probably snipe that first before anything else. Though it's possible they might have a negate effect already, so we really have to take a look at it. Oh, we can... Must be synchro summon. Okay, during your main phase, you can destroy all other cards. During either battle, either player's battle phase. Okay, so we, if we're activating spell and traps, it has to be. Okay. Well, no, nope, it's. Yeah, I think um. You can negate the effects of one. This card gains an additional for every monster it star does. When your opponent activates, you can banish this card. Well, we'll probably just banish this. See, if... unfortunately, um, what it this this keeps coming back, which is a very big issue. I will also note that okay, TG Hyper Librarian. Yeah, our opponent's going to just go off here. So I'm probably not gonna waste. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna waste time anymore. I will also note that um, a good number of cards that a good number of cards here are are are, are kind of like some of the sy synchros there are not supposed to be here. Well, not supposed to be is not quite accurate. It really depends. They they can't even unify the format. Basically, there's a huge divide between the TCG and OCG versions. But yeah, I have not seen a developer so so intent on pushing their cards. So we kind of have to go for this right away. Activate. Yeah, because this gives us a this gives us an gi gives us a level six now, gives us another one to shoot, and we will have a solemn scolding on us on backup. So we cannot play we cannot set the MST because there's a very good chance we need to counter a monster effect. So let's see what opponent what deck our opponent has. Are we dead yet? During the main phase, you can twi discard one spell, summon special summon. Nope. Special summons a no, and you've already used up your normal summon. So, target special summon it. Okay, does it have a special summon? Okay, but they can tribute and discard, so. Target one defense monster. Draw one card that cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. Hmm, weird. You'd expect to. Oh. Okay, they needed to do that just to draw a card, so it's literally just a cantrip. Opponent discards twin twisters. Well, that's kind. So it's a good thing we did not we did not set both of them. So, okay, so let's do a double check. Targets a special or targets it for an attack. You can target one. 
card your opponent controls special summon this card from your hand and oh wait once per turn during your opponent's standby phase oh so it's gonna hit us and it's just gonna go back to hand Ooh, that's gonna be so annoying and let's see when your opponent activates so now the question is monster reborn do they take our card okay they take ours hmm. so we have two ways to do this ideally i draw another tuner so because this is going to go back if I read the cards right. Okay, this one works too. Okay. Activate this now. Snipe this. So let's see what this is. Your opponent lets it go. Type 0. This one was already banished. Okay, so I actually, so I probably need to do this one again. Okay, let's see. Now we have a banished card, so we can actually send it back to the graveyard if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or not. Oh it's, oh, it's based on attack. So we're actually going to sack, sack both of these. And... And their turn. Let's see if our opponent can get us with the next three cards. They actually have a very decent engine. So it's possible that we could... We, 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 we could die here. Also, no, no synchros. So they're just summoning the tricky. We're gonna take two thousand. Also, it's a spellcaster, so they have a way of getting. So we have to remember that what that card does. So let's take let's take a look again. We'll probably have to click this one. We got Mizuki. So targets it. You can target one card your opponent controls. And if you do, return the targeted card to the hand. Okay. So the problem is if it's targeted for an attack, you can banish one zombie type. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let's double check this one because I don't, I think, okay, nope, wrong card. You can target one card your opponent controls, return the targeted card to your hand. And during your opponent's standby phase, so it will actually kill us in with that one turn. So if it gets returned to hand, that's a problem. We could, wait. We might be able to buy some time. And it's a quick effect tool. Okay. So I can banish to destroy or banish to su resummon. And that's a 2-8, which is another issue. I'm going to actually just act banish this right away. Activate. Let's see if our opponent activates in response. Because if they do a special summon, I, have I still have to act... Yeah, they're going to do that. They're going to bounce this one. Which is perfectly fine. 
I think. Activate Spirit Master effect. Destroy this. And let's see. We don't have a tuner, so we're gonna just summon Mizuki. <sighs> okay, let's see if our opponent... Now we need to pay attention to our opponent's graveyard. They might have graveyard effects to get stuff back. So that's from hand. That's good news. Let's take a look at the other cards. End phase. Okay, they don't have it. But now we need another tuner. Okay, we got ourselves another tuner. Okay, so we're gonna summon Shirnui, Spirit Master. Use it to special summon Solitaire. Activate this. Tribute Tribute Mizuki. Get ourselves a tuner. So we might be I guess we go for a yeah, we go for a seven. Now in theory we can also Oh, but this only goes to six. We need we need to get a seven somewhere first. Yeah, we have to Also we can actually Let's see, we can recover two that are banished. Okay, actually let's can get the 2-5 right away. Yeah, we get the 2-5 right away. Because there's a limit to how many we can summon in a turn. Oh, God. Oh, we can actually summon a 10. We can also summon an 8 to do a banish. And we can use it to get back the other Spirit Master, I think. Yeah. So a little, yeah. This is now it's my turn to be doing this. It's I'm I'm. So as you can see, I can I am kind of a hypocrite. So what? Select card in the graveyard to banish. Yeah, we ban banish this one, I guess. Yeah. Nope. Opponent concedes. Yeah, we. So yeah, we kind kind of kind of hypocritical on our part too. We also kind of enjoy it. So, in the end, it's really a question of um, if you can tolerate doing it to your opponents, can you tolerate? Um, if you can tolerate you yourself doing it, you can tolerate doing it to your opponents. That said, it also gives us a form of empathy as well. Maybe it shouldn't be that way. So there we go. You know what? I'll I'll end it on that. I'll end it on that note. Not so much as a point about how good this deck is, because I really think um, this one could still use a lot of work. But it's more of a point of how um, how do you approach go going into Yu-Gi-Oh. Like um, I will admit that this is um that um this week has not been my finest hour in Yu-Gi-Oh, and it really shows. But I can also say that although I have a I have a longing for for a lot of the old days, I guess I, I guess I can I guess I can get used to this um. In my eyes, what I would call a new normal, though for most people it would it's kind of called last month. It's actually been kind of normal like this. I just have to get used to it. So. Enough about this boomer complaining. That's going to be it for this episode of um, From Solo to Duel. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications and whatnot. And we'll see. I think I do... I kind of want to check how many decks I have left to go through. Because, let's see. We already... We did Digital Bugs. I... Yeah, I think the... I think the Culefort deck does... The Culefort deck does give you a... Um, no, this does not give you a structure deck. Actually, you have to go look back. Maybe this might be the last one. 
Although another thing I can do is I can go over some of the other ones. Let's see. Okay, as far as um, the ones from Solo, those are over. That said, there is one more structured deck that you can buy. I guess that I, I will make that my last one. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys again next time. Take care. God bless. Stay safe wherever you are. Have a great week, everyone. Take care.